Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. Sticks up like a sore asshole, doesn't it? So how are we all bloody doing today? Absolute shit house. Last couple of weeks, sorting out my garage, finally. That's pretty much all the contents of my garage, a lot of it upstairs. Since the first day we moved into this house, the garage was pretty much like storage. And the actual ground floor of the garage was like fine dusty concrete. It's fucking horrible. So finally I got everything out, ground the floor, polished the floor, got it painted. Now it looks super fresh so I can actually like work in there. Got some decent lighting and stuff in there. So uh, yeah, just needed to do it. Also I've been rehabbing my back. My back's been fucked. And yeah, look at these. Bloody hell. Pizza party. But you know how it is, sometimes you let jobs go and go and go and go and finally they sort of get in the back of your mind and you've got to get them done. And it wasn't sort of like a, a short job. It's been like three or four days, like I say, trying to get everything out, painting it, letting it dry, painting it again. The fucking cat went in there, halfway through painting, got covered in paint, so I had to sort the cat out. And yeah, me and the MVP were halfway through a job a couple of weeks ago, clearing a line for a massive gap and I messed my back up again. I was pulling this tree out of the floor and it just went, oh, it's just getting too old for this shit. So uh, yeah, that kind of delayed that. And uh, yeah, that's why it's been a couple of weeks without making videos. But hopefully by the end of this weekend, I'll have a new mountain bike video. But this video is 10 years on. It's literally like a 10 year celebration. Back in 2011, I feel like that was when I sort of uh, peaked at BMX. I'm not great at BMX these days, you know, I can sort of bust and move now and again. But uh, in 2011, I was, 23, 24, and yeah, I was kind of like in my proper mental zone. It was a year when I wasn't scared of anything. Any drop that come up, I was on it. Any gap, I was on it. Took a trip to Barcelona, just sent all the gaps and stuff there. And uh, there was one gap that I always said I wanted to do. Someone suddenly uh, dared me to do it, so it bloody happened. Yeah, it's a long way down, but that is the gap. That makes it fucking difficult, doesn't it, eh? All I want is a fucking peaceful life, and you cunts come along and fuck it up. Okay. And yeah, a lot of you are fine this. There'll be a year in your life, you won't know it yet, but there'll be a year in your life when you peak at riding and you'll suddenly look back at that year and you'll be like, oh bloody hell yeah, I was actually quite good then. I'm not saying I'm real bad now, it's just that my body is quite bad now, in stages. There's times my body's sound, I'm on it. And there's times when I, you know, push too hard having a shit and put me back out. But yeah, for me in 2011 was when I peaked. And uh, that angel place gap was a beaut. Yeah, right, MVP. It was absolutely stunning. I didn't know you then, but yeah. Uh, yeah, true. She came two years later. But I got some footage sent to me recently. Ten years on, finally someone has jumped it again, but not on a bike. <laughs> yes. But this young lad, Joshua Bryant, I think he lives in Taunton, uh, finally nailed it on foot, which is nuts. I'll never jump that on foot, especially coming back the other way. I mean, to be honest with you, it was always a plan to jump it the other way. Get my BMX over there and gap it the other way, but uh, you'd actually have to gap the ledge to flat or you couldn't see the landing. So uh, I was able to actually put a takeoff on the wall the other side and gap over, which I preferred for sure. But yeah, having to run, jump, land directly on the ledge then jump down is nuts it's not as big as you kind of think it scares everyone because of the drop between i mean i could literally ride on the floor and jump that gap easily i'd say it's about i don't know 18 foot like i say the actual gap is not massive it's literally in your brain knowing the gap below i mean there's like four floors there is a bit of a roof about 25 foot down but uh you'll probably go through that with the impact of falling but uh, 
yeah, 10 years on, finally someone's jumped it. So I was the first. Josh Bryant was the second. Who's going to be the third? But honestly, fair shout to him. I would definitely prefer to do it on a BMX rather than run and jump it. I think if I was able to run and jump it from the other way, it'd be alright because you can literally run, land on the roof, and then just run forward. But having to run, land on the wall, and then gap down, I could see my back just sort of giving out straight away, and uh, I could see me tripping up, running towards it. There's a lot of danger factors towards that. I mean, doing it on a BMX is kind of straightforward. I feel like as long as you get enough speed going across the car park, you can literally coast about 30 foot away from the actual takeoff, then bang over, which is what I did 10 years ago. I had a really hard gear in. I was rocking kind of 39, so I was able to get speed like easily. But uh, yeah, there could be someone else out there that wants to jump it. He did actually ask me if we should jump it at the same time. That'd be a good opportunity. Mm, you never know. See what summer brings. That would be fucking cool though. Think that so he runs and jumps it one way and I jump it the other way. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm too old for it, maybe not. So, uh, yeah, little update on that 10 years on insane, love it for the fact it's in my hometown and stuff. That gap's going to be there for many years now until they actually demolish the angel place, which uh, ain't looking like they are. So, uh, anytime you walk past that spot, look up, say, Yeah, Joshua jumped that, and Basket jumped that. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. And hopefully I'll be back with a new riding video Sunday or Monday. Seeing how my back goes. See if I can actually finish this spot that I was working on before my back went. It's just getting old, do you know what I mean?